Hello there. <clears throat> so let me address uh, these two tutorials that are not commented in the, in the slides. Now we have flush tank and bubble colon, uh, two additional tutorials. So in this one, bubble colon, I just want to show you, this is a dispersed model, not dispersed, sol uh, dispersed system solver. Just to show you this setup. Here I already run, but I want to point out that if you look at the boundary conditions, see that you have many of them. Remember, when you have dispersed systems, you need to solve a set of equations for each phase. So this is what you see here, alpha air, alpha water. So each phase you are solving different sets of equations. So that's why you have that, that definition. But also as you go into constants, you see that pretty much it's the same, but again, for turbulence, you have different sets, no different dictionary input files. And as you open also the turbulence model, I want to point out also that when it comes to this persistent, the, the turbulence models are, are different. These are turbulence models specifically formulated for this kind of simulations. Okay, we know that we have this outer facing. So this is what these turbulence system uh, models are, are using. So you don't use anymore the same turbulence models that we were using for single phase. Now you use uh, more sophisticated uh, turbulence models. And I want to point out now this file here is where you set all the models you now related to the solver. This is multi-phase Euler phone. And see how complicated you now is this dictionary, this input file. So this is the common entry, you know, like in the previous one BOF, you give the name to the faces. But see that you start to, to have additional enters. So here you can select different multi-phase systems. So if you want to use the population balance models, you have here the actions. No, but this is the basic one. So look at the basic setup. So you start to define air and water and see that you define here the, the bubbles, the diameter. So in this case, we're using a constant diameter model. Okay, so see that for each phase, you can define that. Then the blending, this is to allow for phase, phase switching. So you are forcing a continuous phase, but as you use these actions, you might allow phase switching, surface tension model, aspect ratio model so those bubbles not necessarily need to be spherical drag models okay in different combinations virtual mass model heat transfer model phase transfer model models leaf models wall lubrication models which is the it's not lubricated the wall is it's related to the repulsive force of the walls of the walls okay so it's the tendency of the column to to be repul uh, attract or repulsed with, by, by the walls. Then toilet dispersion models, interface compression models. So, so see that it's very complicated. And this is the basic setup. Then as you have population balance models, since get way more complicated. Okay, so see that heavy the model. Okay, and you need to be very familiar with the theory, not to understand well what is happening and to choose the right models. Then the rest is pretty much the same, but as you go to SB skins, also remember that you are solving different equations. So this might be a little bit intimidating that what is happening there. But remember, you are solving a set of equation for its, each set. So basically, this is what you have here. And I want also to show you that as you go into the source code here in applications, solvers, and multi-phase, this specific solver is this one, multi-phase solar phone. And here you have all the models. So you enter to, to you enter here, for instance, you enter in interface models, see that leaf models, you have all these implementations. Then drag models, see that you have all these implementation. Turbulence dispersion model, all these models, and so on. So you enter here multi-phase reaction models, okay, phase system, okay. Uh, different models, blending, methods, okay, you have everything here. So it's very, very complicated. So setting these results don't require you know, knowing precisely what is happening. And so just also mention here that if you enter into any model, for instance, uh, let me, Tomiyama, if you open the header, as usual, you are going to have references here, okay? And you can read the paper to see what is happening. But these models, as you can see, the, the level of modeling is very, very high. So that's all that I wanted to mention here. But uh, by the way, to show you the, the, the solution of this case, I already run a few time steps. Okay, so let me go here. Bubble colon and paraphone, okay. 
So this is this mesh is you go to the folder bulk, bulk code and you see that docs you have here a reference paper. So basically this this simulation ref, uh, refers to this validation case. So if you want to know the boundary conditions, dimensions of the domain, everything is here, you have it now. And we're doing the comparison. So see that we have a small bubble center in here. So we cannot resolve that using the BOF. So we rely on this dispersed systems. Okay. So you have the case set up here. And let me go here, load state to show you the, the, the bubble column. Okay. So I was to uh, want to point out, so see that in the experiment uh, here, see that you have these bubbles and then you have this column. No? See that here we start. Okay. We, we are not reaching now the, the, the point where we have that oscillation, but see that what is happening and kind of you are going to reproduce these results. But remember, we are not resolving these individual bubbles. What you are seeing here is the average solution. Okay. So this water column is an average. So this by no means represents single bubbles. This is everything average. Okay. And even the mesh is very quartz. This is very time consuming simulation. You, you need to let it run for really long times. Okay. And to show you another coupling. So that was the, the water column, uh, the isosurface. Okay, of alpha, one alpha, and low state. We go to the second state. Okay, now just here. Okay, so I see that here we're plotting in, in a cut plane. So you, this is small domain. And in this case, what we're plotting here is alpha air. So see that here we have and a small hole or a grid where the air is injected. So as you go here into the paper, you're going to see the, the description now. So you have the, the, this is the domain and see that you have a small grid here. So we're simulating in particular this case, okay? This configuration and see that here, the centering, and this is your alpha air concentration. You have air. So where you have zero, you have water, where you have one, you have air. And see that it is dispersed here. Again, we're not solving the individual bubbles or dropper. It's just average. You can change the phase alpha water and see that now where you have water. And this kind of will represent now where you have that colon, air colon. And you have also for velocity. Okay, relative velocity of the phases. This solver, by the way, is, is compressible. It solves temperature. But if you don't want to solve temperature, just put the value constant and it will become isothermal. So see, you have something there, but just let's say numerical errors. You have pressure. Okay, so this is hydrostatic component minus the hydrostatic component or the static pressure and so on. Okay, so here, turbulence quantity. And I just to want to remind you that the the turbulence models are, are different from the single phase and so on. Okay, so this is the dispersed solvers. You see the modeling, the, the modeling is, is heavy there. And finally, I want to address this case. I really like this case. And let me show you what is this. So probably you get an idea from, from the name. So this is a pure BOF case you now. So let's generate the mesh. So I'm not going to open dictionaries. It's fully understood in this case now. So basically this is what we have. Okay. Let's say that can be, you can look at it as a toilet. Okay. So basically what we're doing, you initialize water and see that. And what is going to happen here, this is what I'm going to sim simulate the siphon effect. So as this water level is lower than here, it's going to create suction and going to empty the tank. If you don't initialize like this, everything will remain like that. Now, so this is interesting case because this is something that we're familiar. We know the physics. We know that this happened in reality. So let's see if CFD also respect the physics. Now, so let's do the simulation now. So you have it there, run uh, run solver. So this is a relative. Okay, you have the script to run in parallel. So this is full multi uh, uh, BOF. Okay, we're not doing any any dispersed system, nothing like this is something similar to to the case of, of the of the towing tank. Okay, so here you have the setup of one of the conditions. See that we have 
the the Torrance model K Omega. You will see that consistently. I'm going to use this one because it's the best one, not the K Omega SST. Your standard dictionaries. We're not using this dictionary. This is only used if you have moving meshes or stuff like that. But this means static case. And then your standard pneumatics. Okay, so let's see what what we have here. And also we can look at the screen and see that you have minimum and maximum. See that your volume fraction needs to be bounded. So it's becoming negative, but it's super small value. So it can be just machine precision. And here you have your CFL number. So see that now this is two. So here is the current number that it, it is driving everything. Okay, and let it go and see that five seconds. It will start in five seconds. But at the meantime that it's running, let me open another window. Okay, let me go there. Also, you can plot your standard residuals. So if we haven't seen that, we can clone so residuals when using BOF now. So you, you ah, no. Log, so da, 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 interphone. So you have your log file and then plot your residuals. And then you will you are going to see the same information. Okay, but now you have new quantities here you are going to see alpha water and here you have also the bounded quantity you can see if remaining bounded so we know that it goes between zero and one so you have this report here okay and also your current number in the interface you have it here okay so see that from time to time you have these jumps okay those might be some problems okay might cause some problems but this case since it's smooth, okay. I know precisely also why we have those jumps because we have this option, adjustable runtime. So this one, it will, it will adjust your time step to save your solution and precisely 0 0.05 seconds, every 0 0.05 seconds. So when you add that, that option, it will, the solver automatically will change the time step to, to, to respect this condition. So that will add instabilities in your solution that you see here. So an advice, I don't recommend you to use that auction in multi-phase flows, okay? Because it can add these, these oscillations that in some cases this can be very dangerous. In this case it's okay, but some cases this can lead to, to divergence, okay? So be careful with that auction. So now that it is running, okay, so simulation time, let's see that is, okay, it's almost there. So at this point, I can visualize. Let me launch Paraphone. So see that it's running relatively fast. Paraphone built in and running in parallel, by the way, four cores. So all the tutorials also are set up to run for, with, with four processors. And open here. And I want to see just Alpha Water. The case is 2D. And see that if I press play, see what happens. As expected, we are emptying the tank and then goes here and then you have this interaction. Okay, so this is the nice stuff now that we can reproduce the actual physics. So, so these are some basic validation case that you should get the actual behavior. Uh, also interesting to show here, it is that this mesh is rather coarse. Uh, so see that it's a very coarse mesh. So if you use, uh, See here that when running, and actually this is your, remember, this is your actual solution. See that when running, let me go back here. You see these structures here, but that all this behavior might be related not to the mesh that is not very, very fine. And so it's also interesting that here we have the turbulence model enabled. If you disable the, the turbulence model, you will see the influence of that, of turbulence in this case is very strong. You will see that here, the outlet, the water accumulates because you don't have the turbulence model. So something, these are some of the other <clears throat> situations that you can see that is very important no? because many times you can have some strange behavior. So try to run laminar and you will see that water, the water level here accumulates, it remains here and then it goes out but it accumulates. And that is just due to the fact that you are not using the turbulence model. And in this case, it has an, an strong impact, in particular here in, the, in this segment of this pipe of the outlet.
Okay, so that's all that I wanted to show you. So this is a, a nice case. You can play with this one, different auction, different skins. This is one you can have different meshes. Okay. Uh, so that's all for this case or for multi-phase flows. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next advanced models. Bye.